Do you think about death? Do you think about your death? Do you think about what happens after you die? Where do you go? Do you go there immediately? Does anything happen or do you just simply cease to exist? I was reminded of these things when one of my best friends lost his brother unexpectedly. And then a few days later, one of the Christian authors that I read reported that his son was at college on one of the lawns and suddenly collapsed and died. Death is not a debatable issue, but what is debated is what happens after you die. Is there a resurrection? Is it a real physical resurrection or is it only a spiritual, ethereal life after death where we're just spirits floating around in a ghostly existence? You wouldn't be the only one thinking about life or non-life after death. This is the issue Paul is addressing in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And if we don't get our understanding of our resurrection correct, then Paul says we as Christians will live a miserable life. Is that what you want going for you? A miserable life? Does that sound appealing? When you fill out a job application and the boss asks you, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Should you answer? Well, I'm not sure, but as a Christian, I'm pretty sure it'll be miserable. So what we're going to learn and love and live over the next few days is incredibly important because, well, we don't want miserable lives. There were some within the Corinthian church who said that a resurrection from the dead was not going to happen, that it was not part of the gospel message, that they had already achieved all the spiritual status that anyone was ever going to achieve. So Paul sets out to set them straight on this crucial doctrine by showing them that Jesus was physically raised from the dead, and the physical resurrection of Jesus Christ guarantees the believer's physical resurrection. There is great hope and confidence for our life after death. When you pray today, please remember Sean Pasley and his family are missionaries in France. And also remember the Amara Life Word broadcast that's heard in Peru and Bolivia.